Hey everyone, it's Farmer Maggie with Wild and Woven Farm. This is our first video with our new name, Wild and Woven. And today we are potting up some mini soil blocks. You can see a few videos ago how I made soil blocks using this mini blocker. And so now that our little seedlings are outgrowing it, we are going to use the next size up. And so this is um, a two inch blocker. There's four of them here. And I've got a bunch of soil that we just mixed up. It's nice and wet. And I've got some empty trays that we're going to start putting soil blocks on. Now, as you can see, we are using the attachment on the inside of the blocker that perfectly forms a square that the mini soil block will fit into. all set and these trays are really nice in that they hold 40 of the two inch blocks and conveniently my mini blocks are 20 each so I've got I'm gonna make sure my labeling doesn't blow away some peppers and we need to pot these up so this is our mini soil block of a sweet pepper as you can see the roots are starting to air prune on the sides. The pepper has gotten its first set of true leaves. This is probably more than mature enough to pot up. So what you're gonna do is very simple. Take your block and press it very gently into your two inch block. And it's as easy as that. blocks into the two inch blocks. I now have them still under the grow lights, especially the peppers because it is only mid-March here and our last frost date is on average the first week of April. I do know over the next few nights we're going to get some frost so we're going to be covering up but when I am ready to get these out to plant, I want to plan two weeks in advance because you want to harden them off. And hardening off simply means exposing them to the outdoor elements just a little bit at a time. So your first day is probably going to be maybe a few hours in the shade on a non-breezy day. Uh, the next day might just increase that by another hour or two. And so it's going to finally look like you putting the plants out in the blazing hot sun or windy weather and they're just going to be able to withstand it and so that's when it's time to plant in the ground outside. I try to mimic conditions by either rubbing my hands over the seedlings or having a fan on 
to create air movement in here. It creates not such a stale environment and it gets the plant root structure a little stronger to deal with some wind. So we're going to let these babies rest. We're gonna keep them watered. Remember we bottom water all of our seed trays so that you're not allowing the soy blocks to fall apart and to help promote root structure that goes down and outwards to absorb the water. So again, stay tuned. We will show you when we decide to harden these off and plant them outside.